And Sue, so you've been back across the channel uh, towards Dunkirk, Calais. What have you discovered about the French efforts to help us? Well, I've found absolutely the opposite happening. Um, I've found what I think is probably the biggest scandal yet. Uh, last November, we gave £63 million to the French to uh, beef up border controls. They, in the last four years, have spent £52 million on free buses, which I have discovered are car carrying thousands of migrants from their camp to the beaches. Free buses? Free buses. So you can g get on a bus in northern France for free? Yes, in Dunkirk. Yep. It's like a pioneer city for free uh, bus travel. But they're not sticking in Dunkirk. They're going 30, 11 miles one way and four miles the other. In other words, to the very beaches, they can take the migrants to the very beaches that the French, we're paying the French to patrol. So you don't need to show a French ID card no, to get nothing. on the bus? You just climb on, and I did it uh, ten days ago. And we're, we're, showing pictures of, we're showing pictures of this as we're talking. So you get on this bus, and it's full of predominantly young men, uh, and they're uh, coming... 99%. There was a, a, perhaps a, one French lady with a baguette in her shopping bag, a couple of uh, school students, and me. Everyone else, it was a, my, uh, a often a, a young male migrant, uh, Afghani, I and Iraqi, maybe a few Indian. Mm -hmm. Literally, every seat was taken on both occasions. I did the journey, and one was 38 stops. Uh, I got the last seat. So we're literally, or the French are literally, bussing them, bussing them from the camps... From the camp in Grand Synth, in Dunkirk, straight to the beaches, where they then take our money to patrol the beaches. But even more phenomenally... When they caught them, we watched them and photographed them catching one knot on the beach. What did they do with them? They put them on the return free <laughs> bus service back to their camp I'm in sorry Dunkirk. To laugh. So, so they could start again. So they can come back the next day? Well, the next evening, in an hour's time. These buses are going round like every 10 minutes. So the French, I mean, you're basically saying that through this free bus service, the French are aiding and abetting yep. the criminal traffickers. Yep. Uh, you also showed me, and we showed the pictures, holes in the fences that have been made yep. by traffickers where they can get so out of the bus stop. when they get off the, the bus stop near the beach, they run. And I followed them, and they went through uh, a deliberately cut hole in a, in a wire fence over a railway line, through some forestry and straight to the beach. And those were the same people who we saw half an hour later collected up by the French, and on that occasion taken back in white bands. Extraordinary. To... Absolutely. Well, this should enrage people, I think, because, we, as you say, we keep giving these tranches of 40, 50, 60 million pounds uh, to the French, and it should not be subsidising free bus travel to the beaches. But I do think, honestly, 99% of the people we are seeing coming in d into Dover this week will have caught a bus from the Grand Synth camp to the beaches, a free bus. In other words, the French are ferrying them to the beaches where they, we then take our money to patrol the beaches. It's a farce. I mean, it's, it's worse than that. I mean, it's... Um, I better not use a very rude word, but it's certainly um, sticking out your tongue to mm. the, by the French to the British. So you and I have covered this story from the very beginning. We spent as much time on it as almost anybody yeah. uh, because we both realised the magnitude, I think, of what was going on. Yes. Rishi Sunak now realises that politically this is becoming a huge issue, especially to those 2019 former Labour Brexit voters. You know, he's now promising that he's going to stop the boats, there'll be new legislation that may allow British judges to overrule rulings of the European Court of Human Rights. How do you see it? I see it all as a complete nonsense, unless you stop this farce that's going on on these French beaches, because none of them would get here. They would get here in trickles, but no, they're flash-mobbing the buses. Nobody's taking any notice. They're actively encouraging it. And that is how they get into the beaches, to get to the boats. People say, let's stop the boats. Let's stop them coming from Turkey and being held in warehouses in Germany or, or the Netherlands and coming through. 
Well, let's stop the people. We, we can do our best to stop the people, but you and I both know some will still get through. Well, they will, because yes. they can get on a train to the beaches or they can get an individual yeah, yeah. taxi or whatever. But th we're talking about yeah. 100 people on one bus. Yeah, yeah. No, no, I get the point you're making. Yeah. I get the point you're making. The ECHR has now cropped up as a debate. Yeah. I, I always thought that it would. Um, if we left ECHR, would it make deportations easier? I don't know how to... I don't know. I can't predict that. No. Well, we need to do something. We need to do something. I mean, obviously, if we didn't have the, the Court of Human yeah. Rights, it, if we had it out of the way, it stopped the Rwandan flight. I was in Rwanda when it, it was stopped. Yeah. By, and you're right, it was an anonymous judge. Yeah. We don't know who that person is. No. And my goodness, we've tried to find that person. But the Home Office will not tell us who it is. Final thought on this. We've seen the numbers go up. Every single year, 45,000 last year. Some people predicting could be 65,000 this year. Do you have any idea on the numbers? Well, the highest uh, prediction is actually 85,000. Is it? 65,000 is a, 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 a home office yeah. sort of middle ground. Yeah. Yeah, it could be 85,000.